Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial. I'm so sorry I haven't done one for a couple of months actually. Um, been pretty busy, it's the end of the college year and that has to take my priority. Uh, I've also been writing bits of music now and again, which is nice to be creative once more. Um, but I recently got a couple of emails saying, Dan, not sure how we can um, automate Reason instruments in Logic. So it's another rewire question and it's a good question. Uh, and it's a useful technique uh, to know how to do. It all revolves around something called track headers, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And you also need your MIDI implementation chart. It sounds very geeky, uh, but if you go to your reason file, uh, your reason folder, sorry, uh, either on PC or Mac, um, in the documentation, you will find the MIDI implementation chart. If you can, print it out, because you're going to need it a lot if you really want to work with um, rewiring, uh, automating Reason's instruments in Logic. I'm just going to have mine on screen, because obviously if I've got it printed, you can't see it. Uh, but I can't recommend enough. If uh, you really want to get into it, print it out. Okay, first thing, we've got re um, no, we haven't got Logic loaded up. Um, and obviously in the rewire setup, you do logic first and reason second. So if we come down to reason, you can see that we're in rewire slave mode and that's the important thing that you want to see. Now what I've got is a drum track and I've also got a bass uh, combinator with some maelstrom patterns uh, down on the sequencer. So in this instance, I've actually already written the song in reason. I can also put my notes into Logic if I want to, but not on this occasion. If you watch the other rewire tutorial videos, there's information on how to do that. What we're going to do is automate, for example, the uh, subtractor synth uh, within the combinator and also the uh, combinator itself. Okay, so let's come back to Logic. And the first thing we need to do is create a new track and we need some external MIDI. So we we'll create one of those. And this will instantly then create our track, which is called drums at the moment, which is not right. We can always change that. And it will open up the library, or it should do. And here you can see Reason. And it now shows us all our various elements uh, within actually the combinators and um, all the instruments that are used with inside this current Reason track. So let's uh, work with the drums for the time being. Okay, uh, so I'm going to assign this track to the actual drum track. All right, if I change the name to bass, you can see it becomes bass, but we'll stick with drums for the moment. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually hear the drum track so we need to create a new channel strip for it. So click on the plus symbol and we want reason three and four. If we go back and have a look at reason, you can see that our drums combinator is actually wired into three and four. Our other combinator, the bass combinator is not actually wired in yet. So whilst we're here, let's do that. So combi output, is going to go to five and six. And I'm going to do another tutorial soon that looks at the combinator in a lot of detail because it really is just the best way to write your music in Reason. Okay. So if we play this back, we should now, oh, if we click Create, there's our channel strip for the drums. We can do all the usual things. We can add our own compressor onto it if we want to. Okay, so it now becomes like a Logic audio track. But what we want to do is have a look at uh, how we can automate some of these elements. So the next thing we do is we create a new track and we want another external MIDI, okay? And click Create. So we've got a general MIDI device at the moment. Oops. 
a general MIDI device, again we want to assign it to something in Reason. So let's choose an instrument in part of the drums. Okay, let's hide that for the moment. Okay, so one example could be in the Combinator I've got a mixing desk, I've got all my re-drum hits going to their own channels. So, for example, I might want to automate um, channel uh, auxiliary one on my snare. Um, I've actually already got that set up in the rotaries on the combinator, so I'm going to leave that for the moment. I'm just going to do something really basic, like turning the mixer level down on the on the uh, uh, sorry the master level down on the mixer. Okay, so I come back to here, and we know this is mixer two. I might want to give it a better name. So I don't get confused, and I can't stress how important that is. Okay. Come back to here, and we should see under reason, there we go, drums mixer. Okay. So that has now created its own track. All right. And now what I can do is look at the automation. So we press A, and we bring up the, autom uh, the uh, automation window. Now, we're going to deal with MIDI control banks here, 0 to 63 and 64 to 127. They all have these general names, okay? These are not relevant or specific to the um, redrum or the mixer or the subtractor or whatever it might be. All right, this is where we need our MIDI implementation chart. 